Hi guys, just see me toe in the picture there. <laughs> well, as it's Sunday, you know where I go on Sundays, so I've been there. The frame is all painted up. It's come out quite nice, and I did knock it with one of those brackets, which has pissed me off. I hope I haven't not marked the paintwork, though. Handlebars and forks are up there, they've come out rather nice, and I've got a box of bits there. And Biggles was actually sorting out his workshop again because he's got someone coming to buy every, or so he said, every vintage bike part that he's got. Um, at some point, I'm not sure when exactly. I don't think Biggles know exactly when, but this guy is apparently. Um, so I've pretty much got the pickings of um, some other bits before they got taken or get put aside to be taken, I should say. So this box of reflectors was one of them. Too modern for the guy, I think. From what Biggles was saying, the guy was just interested in the uh, vintage bits. It's broken. Um, and I haven't found any vintage reflectors in here, so... This is all fairly modern stuff. Apart from brackets like that. Well, actually, I haven't said that even up into the 90s and early 2000s. You've got brackets like that. Right, what else we got? Well, what I'm doing, I'm just pulling out these bits of rubber. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bike bells over there. Uh, I think that's uh, just about it. Nine bells. Ooh, knock nine bells out of you. No, no, no. Bad joke, oh no. Some may not have even heard of that one before. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the shed. And the bike lock bracket there, and I haven't got the lock for it, so that can go in there. Got another box of bits behind me. Right, anyway. Let me go on my box of doodars that are in the bedroom. Keep the rest of the reflectors. I don't really need reflectors as such, but I just wanted the brackets more than anything, because that's what I'm sure of. Um, although this lot wasn't free. Because the guy was, would have paid some money for it, probably not a lot, um... Biggles actually let me have this. What's in that tin? There's 63 brake cables up there. And 11 gear cables somewhere up there. Yes, I counted them. 63. Most of them are actually brand new. Uh, I've got this lot as well. well there's outers and there's some cables in here as well, I believe. Uh, so yeah, i have definitely sorted for outers for a little while. Uh, this tub, light, brake levers, some spare bulbs for dynamo lights in there, some mudguard lights. Well, that one's actually got some sort of adapter on it to, uh, make it mount to your fork. <laughs> but in here, it's Lots of these for V brakes. Lots of these for V brakes. So I've definitely got some nice new ones. Brake blocks. I've got some decent ones of those. These. Some brightlier hangers. I just grabbed what was left basically in the drawer. A couple of these as well, I've just realised. I'm a bit rusty though. There, I'll be alright if I'm doing a project. It's a nice cable bridge, eh? that actually matches the other one. It came off of it. Yeah, there's a few other knickknacks in here. 
one of these cable guides for the underside of a frame. Some of them, like this one, will have one. But I've got the original one that's already in the box. There's yeah, just some lots of random stuff like that in here. A couple of these in here, actually. So, that's got to be sorted. But not tonight. <laughs> uh, I will just roll those up and put those in one of these boxes for the night as well. Just to get them off the floor. Right, turn around now. Turn around. There's something there somewhere. Isn't there? Right, so I've got all that to do. I might start assembling it tomorrow. Depends how I feel. Bunch of these. Bunch of calipers. In here I've got a bunch of all sorts, really. There's some derailleurs. I grabbed the ones with this fitting on. The hexagon fitting. Now that go on the, drail on the dropouts like I've got in that metal tin behind me. Uh, because I've already got plenty with this kind of fitting on it so I didn't really see the need for me to grab he only had two or three of them on the shelf but I didn't see the need for me to grab them because I've already got plenty of those because it's not actually a common type I use um, but I'm not decided if I'm going to use because I've got two or three in here that I picked up which is of this sort of style. So I don't know if I'm going to put one of these on the Schwinn or this one. This one actually looks nice so I might go for this one. Got another pair of these trigger shifters. Old style ones. These are really old ones. These, one. these ones. Um, some old rallies had these. Uh, Got one stuck to a hanger there. And I even have, if that's the right one, I think it is, yeah it is. Front derailleur there, which I'm hoping is going to fit the Schwinn. Really am hoping it will fit. A couple of grip shifts. And like I said, there's um, bearing cups for headstocks. I've got some of those in there. Bike lock that he threw at me. I've got some chain guards in here. I've even got... Oh, I even picked up the handlebars for that sh purple shopper bike that I want to do up. And... some sprockets. Or cogs. I've got three different ones here because I weren't sure which one that I A, wanted to use and B, is going to fit. I've got some clips down there as well. just want to rescue those before the others... it all went to that guy. Because um, I don't do a lot with vintage bikes, so I don't really need that much. Uh, some spacers I've got to sort out in here. And seat post clamps. There's some quick release wheel skewers in here as well. Headstock bear. There's all sorts in the bottom of this, really. Absolutely freaking all sorts. <laughs> Yeah, as far as mountain bike parts go, he didn't really have a lot left. I think I pretty much had that. Shed loads of wheels down there. I've got about three or four more bike frames he let me have, including a shopper. So he's actually had sitting outside his... Ooh. It's got to be about eight months now. It's one of those that he kept, well, you know, he wanted to strip down for parts and it just... Never happened, good. Right, so I've got another cable here that I can. I'll add that to my pot, actually. So, I've definitely got enough cables here to uh, get the bike up and running. I haven't, I haven't got to go and buy any. Well, with 63 brake cables, and as you can see, some of those are actually still in the original packaging. And they're actually that old, you've got a separate front and rear cable back in the day when they did them separately. 
they don't anymore, it's just one long two meter cable and you just cut it down to the length you want. So I think there's a better way to do it. A bit wasteful, because you do waste a hell of a lot of cable if you're going to use it on a front, which is why I uh, like to use what I've got in that box for front cables. That's a complete cable set up there, look. <laughs> that might go on the Schwinn as it is. <laughs> I don't believe it. That really... Yeah, that probably would go on the Schwinn as it is. Hey. Oh, knew I had another one somewhere. I've got three of these then, haven't I? Mudguard lamps. I don't know why, but I like these. Um, yeah, I found the handlebar that originally came off that rally shopper I've got. But since it was in such good condition, I couldn't scrap that frag. The other one I've got is an absolute piece of shit, so it probably will get broken up for parts eventually. Which sort of defeated the object of me um, picking these sprockets up, really, for... Um, the shop because it's got a wheel in it. <laughs> oh, hang on. I've only got one in here. Should have two. Oh, maybe that is. Maybe I did only pick up two of them. Yep. I'm going friggin' gaga. I swear I am. Oh. So I haven't actually bargained on this. But, um, did I, did I say how much he charged me? Ten pounds? For a lot. And I've got a lot here that's going to keep me going for quite a while. So, uh, can't complain. Can't complain. Can't complain, won't complain. Look down here, and I've got some reflector brackets from another bike I took off, and some other cables from another bike I took apart, so I might as well go in there. I've got another gear cable, look. Go in my box of gear cable, look, that just stock that up. Um, we did go down the recycle centre this morning. Absolutely jack shit there. What was there was just rust buckets, really. Um, I'm not after any personal projects at the moment, so... I mean, I could have got them and resprayed them and whatnot, like I have done with this one. But, uh, nah. Like I said, I don't need any more personal projects. the fuck did these come off of? Some spaces for something, there. Eh? Right, now there's nothing else down there, that can go in this box for now. Yeah, I've got a big job tomorrow then, haven't I? Best of tea. Yeah, I was going to put dynamo lights on this, but that would mean resting the paintwork and the forks here. It wouldn't be noticeable. In all honesty, it wouldn't be noticeable unless I took the lights off. Um, I'm going to see how I feel when I've got it all assembled. Um, cause that's actually the reason I picked that big one up there. I've already got two of those in my box. Ooh, hello. Three speed gear cable. I'll go in the gear cable pile. I've actually got quite a few of those three speed gear cables. Which is actually quite good, because I've got a few three-speed bikes, so I've got spares. I can go out and buy them, but I don't want to go out and buy them. Not if I don't have to. I might need to find a bigger box as well for my cable hours, which is down in the shed. <laughs> nice blue here. Oh, yeah. It's a shame I've only got these now, because I, I did that... Um, other Claude Butler mountain bike and used blue on some of them, didn't I? Was it the brakes or the gears I used blue outers on? I can't remember. Well, 
want another bike here I could use them on. If I really wanted to, I could strip the cables off of my racer and put them on that. <laughs> I'll save those for another project. I could put them on that one. Uh, but no, I'll go for black. Could have gone white, but none of the white I've got is actually clean. Good. I'm glad there's all this outer here as well, because uh, I was really short on cable outer. Really, really short. Well, when I say short, I still had a box full, but none of it was actually <laughs> long enough, long, try again, long enough for um, half the stuff I wanted it for, so. These are all decent lengths. I'm putting a couple over this side, because I've got to take the cables out of them. Do I need to? That might fit that bike as it is. Which means I won't have to fuck ass around feeding a um, cable down and out and whatnot. I could just put that in the brake lever, down the frame, into the cable bridge. If this is going to be long enough, so I'll keep that to one side, I think. Box of bits, I'll put it in there. A racing bike brake cable here. Might as well go over there. Ah yes, I've got a BMX one here from oh. This isn't what the hell have we got here? This is not like any other cable I've seen before. This I don't know. Do any of you guys know? Look at that. Something that just... Weird. Oh, they're not together. It's two separate cables. I don't think these are bicycle related at all. I think these might be like... for an old moped or something. I'm... I'm not sure. To be honest, I'll roll those back up and put those to one side. That's got me confuzzled. And this won't go in the bin because it's got a cable seized in it. So I don't know why you had this one hanging up, to be honest. Right, what have we got here? Ah, we've got a bridge cable. Yeah. Which is stuck. Uh chuck that my box of cable. Right. For some reason he's raveled up a cable and an outer set together, but separately like that. Why he did it that way. Anyway, I've got enough cables up in that tin, so. Uh, before I put this video up, I'm going to put part two of the Sun Solo build up for your enjoyment and pleasure. Uh, I'm just trying to think. Yeah, I'll do that first, and I'll get this one put up. I'll put this one up in the morning, I don't know, when I get up. I don't know what I'm going to have for breakfast either, because uh, I can't really have pastries either anymore, not if I'm lacto intolerant. That as it is. Well, that's good, because I've got enough outers and enough cables to actually do the swim as well. If that front derailleur fits, that I picked up, then I'm good to go for that this week as well, because, like I said, I've got all the cables now. I don't have to go buy any. Just use what I've got.
I'm going to have to get out of the ship tomorrow because I want the wheels for this if I'm going to put this together. What's this? Yeah. I'm glad that's not showing up on camera because it is actually someone's address and phone number. Mm, I've got a big nose. I don't even know where they came from. I just found them on the floor down here. Oh yeah, that's why I kept that cable there. Duh. Right. Cool. I've got the stiff sitting down there. I've been sitting down there for too long. I'm going to go and pour myself a cola. Someone just replied to my comment I made about um, Lidl's. Not a bad comment. Because uh, I actually personally like Lidl's and the stuff they supply. So here's a better look at these cables before we disappear. 63 in here. Oh yeah, these are the 8 gear cables as well. Which will soon... Because I've got two bikes to do with those. Drop down to four. <laughs> but that does mean if I need them for any other projects, I've got some there to go to. Could have done with a little more, really, but never mind. That's what was there, so I can't have any more than what's there, can I? Uh, right, I've got to end the video then, and uh, I'm going to get the um, thingy video edited. Part one is up, so I'll chuck that in the recycle bin out of the damn way. Open up this. Drag and drop in. Might find it. Ha do. And I've got to do some trimming, so I'm going to play. Hi guys, this is part two of the oh. racing bike build. No, I haven't got to do any trimming. Hi guys. I timed that perfectly. Wow. What about the end here? Have I got to trim any? Nicked that last little end bit off. Right, so we're done. All we've got to do is just uh, add the title to that and that can go up tonight. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you found this video somewhat interesting. It's uh, a bike haul of small parts, we'll say. Well, apart from I got four more frames. Five if you count the shopper. That really is a bag of shit, though. Uh, that will just get scrapped for parts. Um, bunch of bike forks I got as well, but they're all for old racing bikes and whatnot. Three speed bikes. Apart from one silver pair, which I was going to bring home and see if they'd fit the uh, Peugeot mountain bike frame that I've got, but I know without even bringing them home that the steerer tube's too short anyway, so anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you again.
hopefully tomorrow. I'm not sure what I'm doing tomorrow. Maybe building that bike. Uh, I might not, I don't know. Anyway, bye.